In this video, I will show you how to run a RED5 distribution using Eclipse. R1 in the dist folder, that is the distribution we will be running. So the first thing we need to do is to create a runtime configuration. So click on this arrow next to this icon, select Run Configurations, click, right click on Java Application, then click New. For the project, type in red5 underscore server. That's the project that has our red5 distributions. Then for main class, click on the search button. Type in bootstrap. And then we want the one that says org.red5.server. So click on that and click OK. And then we need to name our configuration. So I will name it distribution space r1. Now in the future we will have a different configuration for each distribution. So it's a good idea to name it like this with the R1 so that we know which configuration goes with which distribution. So I've named this distribution R1 to be used with my R1 distribution. Now I'll click on the Arguments tab, then click on Other, then click on the workspace button, then expand the RED5 server project, that's our RED5 distribution project, then expand dist, and then click on R1, that's the distribution we'll be running. Click on that, and then click OK. Then click on the class path tab, then click on RED5 underscore server, and then click remove. Then click on user entries, and click add jars button. Expand the red5 underscore server project, that's our red5 distribution project. Expand dist, expand r1, that's the distribution we will be running. Then click on boot.jar and click OK. Then click on the apply button, then click on the run button. And that will take a little while. Then it says installer service created so we know that it's working and RED5 is running. So to stop RED5, click on this red stop button. And now we have run a RED5 distribution using Eclipse.